contracts, contracts, contracts. Does anyone really love contracts? I'll leave that for another video. But the thing is, sometimes you're going to need them. If you're an influencer, if you're a business coach, if you're just doing business online, sometimes it's better to create contracts. And it's a lot easier than it was even a couple of years ago because of ChatGPT and some other options. But what I'm going to do, but the other thing that I've really noticed is that the price of these contract softwares where you can have a valid signature and are legally binding in court, they're getting a little expensive. So I've got a solution for you and I want to share it with you right now. What we're going to do is we're going to compare some of the pricing of the top different platforms. And then I'm going to show you what I'm using because I used to use DocuSign. So DocuSign here, as you see, great platform, but it's $10 a month. So $120 per year standard. If you want to use more than five envelopes and you want to get into the collaborative commenting, $25 a month and business is $40 a month. So that's pretty expensive for someone that's a solopreneur. As a solopreneur, it's my philosophy that you want to keep your costs as low as possible. And that's what I'm going to help you do. So sign request is another one. Now sign request sounds like a funky name, like sign request, like really you couldn't think of anything better, but okay, we'll give it that. Now I'm in Europe right now. So you will see that it's showing euros, which is pretty similar to the US dollar. And so this one for one user, unlimited documents is nine euros where the business is 15 euros. So still something that's going to add up to a pretty decent expense at the end of the month and, or even at the end of the year. And the other thing that I want to point out is that these types of softwares, if you start implementing them in your business, it's something you're going to have for multiple years. So that's something to think of as well. Now, Dropbox sign used to be called hello sign. And they have some options to build yearly. You're looking at $13 euro per month or $24 a month for, for two or more users. You have some integrations and things like that. But I find this a little bit clunky to use. It's not, it's definitely not my favorite. Now, Adobe has uh, eSign as well. And Adobe Sign, again, anything with Adobe just to me seems a little bit complicated. I'm going to go to the US pricing here and you'll see you're looking at $12 a month or $19 a month. And that's going to add up as well. And then there's Doc Hub. Doc Hub is probably one of the, or the other ones you can use. And they actually have a free plan. So if free is really important to you, you can use Doc Hub. But I'm going to show you something else as well. Um, so this is five signatures a month three sign requests and three email attachments or for $10 a month, unlimited documents. So they're really going for the, the kind of lower end user. They're going for that one that's trying to save money. But I want to show you what I use. I recently switched to DocBreeze and DocBreeze actually has a free plan. So there's no reason not to sign up for it, first of all, but they have a couple other ones as well. Now, what I love about this is instead of doing the monthly payment and most of these options, they've gone for that monthly thing because they realize that people stay and they pay not just for one or two months, but once you implemented this into your business structure, you're going to be paying this for years to come. And so this is a great alternative to DocuSign and they have some templates even here as well. I'm going to go in and show you what that is, but just so you know, you can do two documents a month for free, which may be great for solopreneurs. There's also a tier two license, which has five documents per month and unlimited templates, reminders, multi-recipients, and tier three, which has uh, 15 documents per month. And then there's also a tier four that has 40 documents per month. So this is geared at a lot of people that would be running online businesses. And let's go and look at it. Now, one thing that I wanted to, to say is my first impressions are it's got beta on it right here. It was just released today and it does look a little bit basic. Now, that's one of the things that I like about the AppSignal products is they're basic, but they work and they get increased functionality. Just look at this AppSumo Original. So AppSumo Original is an AppSumo Original software 
they normally help launch other people on the softwares, but they had their own group of softwares, including Tidy Cow, which really kills it over Calendly for me. It's what I use. But you'll see that our product updates are, are, are live. New year, new features. Check out the latest product updates. So I'll just click on this one randomly. You'll see that just this is, is just uh, last year. Look at all these things that they just added to Tidy Cow, SendFox, and they have a couple other ones. So sometimes they, they don't roll out to updates for all of them. But let's look at this and see if this is something that, that you want to do. Admittedly, it's a little bit basic. What you can do is you can create a, a document and you can upload a document. It's going to find where you can put in your signature. So this is great if it's already a PDF. You'll be able to put that in and then market the places where you want people to sign. What I also like is they've got some templates and I would definitely expect them to be additions to this, but there's a general business contract, a coaching business, an NDA, and a marketing project. So that's really what you probably need to, to get started. And if you wanted to do this, you could create a document and you can, uh, of course, change this, but you can temp, uh, see what it looks like and you'll see that. This party is called a consultant and party in yellow is called a client, right? So you can add a third party to this if you want to have other people do that, which is another feature that you can't do on some of those base levels of the other projects. And the other thing that you can do is you can actually go to ChatGPT, which is great for contracts, by the way, and just tell them what you want to say. It's also great for reading contracts, right? So if you, if you, someone sends you a contract and you're like, whoa, what does this even mean? You can throw it into chat GPT. That's a pro hack right there. So I've done this one right here. And basically what I did was I sent it to, sent it to myself, one of my other emails. And so it's prompting me as the business coach to fill in the information. So as you see, this was just a text box here, and then I can put in the, uh, the date. So November 23rd, 2024, let's say. And between John Stone and the coach is me. So I'll put my name. And then basically you can type in what you agree to. And so go through this at the rate of 250 per hour or whatever it is, or for a block, and you can do all this. So they both sign it. Now this you can type your name. And right now, again, it only shows this kind of basic signature. This is going to be legally binding. So that's great. But I would expect them to come up with different variations of this. This is how the SaaS world works. They roll out the MVP, which is the minimum viable product, and then they improve upon it. And this would be one of the things I would expect them to do it. But they actually have the handwrite so you can clear it and you can write your own signature and it, it can go there and you can print your name and you finalize it. And then it will go to the other person to do as well, okay? And so that gets both of those people with the contract signed, right? So this was a coach, I sent this to myself, and then I was just showing you how to fill it in. I can also copy the link and resend it through text message or something like that, or resend the email. Um, and I can view, I can download this contract, and I can look at the activity for it when it was open, along with all the timestamps, really nice, nice feature there. And then this other party hasn't signed it. That's the client. And so this is basically your hub for contracts. So that's really all it is. It's the clients, the, the contracts, and you have your uh, settings here. And I would expect that to have a bit more to do it as well. But basically that's it. If you want a very simple contract software that's rock solid, that's got the times when people have opened it, where they've opened it, the IP stamped, everything that makes a contract legal. And again, you can customize a contract to say exactly what you want. I look at these templates as something just a starting point. But again, let's say you're a new coach, you're getting into the coaching business, you can use it as a template and then adjust that to how you want it. And it gives you something to start with, which is often the hardest part, right? So if you want something that's a one-time fee, and that's what I love about this, you pay for it once, and then you have that area of your business covered with the software, you don't need to pay for it again, and you don't have a monthly expense that not only costs, 
but it costs time when you got to reconcile extra charges and things like that. Anyhow, I think Doc Breeze is very bare bones. Okay, that's my honest opinion of it. But like a tidy cow, it will continue to get more functionality. Since I bought tidy cow, which is their Calendly application, actually, I did a video on that. I'll link to that video. I'll also put a link in the description if you look, if you're stuck on Calendly or something like that, definitely check out tidy cow. It's going to save you a lot of money. But what this is going to do is this is going to streamline your business. And instead of worrying about what software you got that covered, you don't have the extra expenses, you don't have the extra overhead. So you can run a lean business and create more profit. And after all, that's what business is about. It's not just about making more money. It's also about being smarter and having less overhead. So hopefully you are get excited about Doc Breeze. And if you're going to need to have this in the future, it's crazy and expensive. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. If you have any questions or if you've used it, let me know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.